today's video is all about this pattern is to see how far the metal will flow and using different gating methods. The first one I'll be using is putting a sprue on here and then putting a vent on here so when the metal flows around it'll bleed the air out. The next one I'll be doing without a vent and we'll see what happens there and see how far the metal will flow. And the third experiment I'll be using a riser to give a bit of head pressure on the mould. Right, we've got one half of the mould rammed up. So this is the sprue where the metal comes in. And this is a vent so the air can flow out of the mould. This is the second test mould. We've got a sprue on there and we'll see how far the metal flows into the test mould without putting a vent there. This is the third test I'm going to do. The box is about 47 millimetres high and what I'd like to do is add a pouring cup so it adds another 57 millimetres on so it's more than twice the height and we'll see how far the metal flows. This is the third test mould. I'm using a pouring cup and we're going to place it on top. There's twice the head pressure but there is no air vent. Theory is this should force the metal further into the mould but we will see what happens. And now we'll have a look at the results. I'll start with the first one I poured and then we'll go over to the last one I poured. It has been an interesting result. There it is, the one with the vent didn't quite fill up, yet the other two without vents did fill up. It's time to try it with real castings. Here are the two vents and the pouring sprue. And we'll see what happens. And we'll make two moulds, one with the air vents and one without vents. There is the mould with the vents. It is dead level, but to make things far more interesting, I've decided to go with the mould without a vent. Going to pour the metal uphill. time to knock out the moulds. This mould is poured without vents and we'll see how it turned out. There it is. No vents and it filled up the mould.
This is the mould with the vents. You can see it filled up. Turned out okay. Here are the three test moulds I poured. This one was with a vent, this one was without a vent, and this one again without a vent. Here are the castings I poured with vents and without a vent. This one here it was without a vent. It was poured uphill and also I nearly ran out of metal. I didn't think it was going to fill up the mould, but it still did. One thing I'll ask you all, if there was no air vent on that set of castings on the left hand side, how did the air escape? Please put your comments in the comment section of the video.